Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of a box I received from Bath Sorbet and I'm so excited for this because it is Halloween themed and not just Halloween themed. This is the Disney Villains bath box. Now I am not new to Bath Sorbet. I do have some demos of their products here on my channel uh, from years past. So if you are interested in seeing any of those, if you have not seen them, um, you can go ahead and check that out. But today we're going to be unboxing this Disney Villains box. Now you can purchase this on their website. I'll leave a link down in my description box if you're interested in checking it out or just checking out uh, their other products that they have available. But this box itself is $45 and it is chock full of some awesome bath goodies. So let's get to opening it. The box itself is so pretty. We just have this purple and black motif and then just kind of this oh, green like zombieified uh, bathtub there in the middle. So super cute packaging. And then when we open it up, Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So here's what it looks like inside. You can see there is a hand mirror right there on top. How cool is that? So it says Disney villain box. It's good to be bad. Check this mirror out. How cool is that? You can see my um, microphone and camera there. And look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It has just this cool like Victorian-esque look to it and they even have on on the top there it says fairest of them all how stinking cute is that the mirror itself is plastic just in case you are wondering so it's lightweight but you know the mirror itself is very crystal clear and so much fun oh my god i absolutely love that that's gonna look so cute here on my table where i do my makeup so let's get to sniffing some of the products that are in here oh my goodness what do i want to start with first let's start with this bath bomb here this is called mistress of all evil well Maleficent's Mistress of All Evil bath bomb. And look at it. It's a green, oh gosh, this is such a glowy kind of green color. And then it has the shape of Maleficent's head there on the front. How cool is that? So I'm gonna do my best at describing scents for you. I don't think these products and don't quote me. I did check their website, but I don't think that you can buy these products separately. So this just might be, you know, exclusive to, to this box. So this one to me smells fresh, clean, and earthy. It smells really, really nice, and I'm just loving the color of that. Holy crap. Just, it looks like it would glow great, like under black light. So I'm excited for that. Next we have, this is Ursula's Enchanted Nautilus Bath Bomb. And it says, don't be a poor unfortunate soul. Use this enchanted Nautilus bath bomb and hop in the tub to become the ultimate mermaid. So how gorgeous is that with all of the shimmer? And it is bio glitter, so it's going to be safe for you. It's going to be safe for the fishies. So you don't have anything to worry about there. Just so shimmery and beautiful. Ooh, and this one. Oh my gosh, this one has a warm sweetness to it. I smell a little vanilla, almost like a sugary vanilla is how I would describe that. Oh, it smells so nice. It's a little bit of a warm smell too, I get. Oh gosh, I absolutely love the scent of that and it's gonna be so beautiful and shimmery. 
see. Next we have Jafari's Arabian Nights Diamond Salt Soak. It says this salt soak is a real diamond in the rough. Can be used multiple times or all at once for a magical experience. So it comes in a jar like this and I'm not quite sure the size of the jar, but it is a decent amount. And like it says, you could use all of it or, you know, sprinkle it in here and there in your bath or if you want to use it like for cocktailing. But it is a gorgeous dark bluish teal color and it just looks very shimmery in there as well. So let's take a big old whiff of this. Oh, oh yeah, I like this. Mm, and that is packed to the tippy, tippy top. Like you cannot get any more in there. And it does look like there are some nice chunks of salt and so shimmery. This one is definitely a warm fragrance, slightly perfumey. Like it almost reminds me of a... I want to say it reminds me of a Juicy Couture perfume, but I'm not sure which one. Oh, it is so nice. It's beautiful, but also warm. So like perfect for fall. And oh my gosh, like, can you imagine the color of the bath water with that beautiful dark teal? Oh my gosh, I love the scent of that. It is so, so nice. So there is that. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this is the Evil Queen's Bad Apple Shave Soap. No need to ask the magical mirror. Just use this shave soap and you'll be the softest of them all. And do you see the apple embedded in there? So this is a shave soap, which you can obviously use to shave with, like if you're shaving your legs or your pits or anything like that. But also with this, I mean, you can obviously just use it, I'm sure, as a regular bar of soap. I definitely have a feeling that my boyfriend will probably borrow this to use to shave his beard. So, oh gosh. And you're wondering, what's the scent smell like? It does have an apple-y smell to it. Very crisp and juicy. It smells so, so good. And that is a large puck there. And oh my God. I mean, look at that apple. Oh. And there is a shot of the back. Okay. We're not done yet. We also got a queen of hearts bath truffle. It says you won't be screaming off with their heads after you use this relaxing bath truffle packed with moisturizing butters. Just toss in your bath and enjoy. So it looks like, um, like the queen of hearts kind of, um, card, except it is a little bath truffle. Uh-huh. Mm, this smells so familiar. So this one smells citrusy, sweet. Almost like a fruity, fruity citrus is how I would describe it. A sweet, fruity citrus. It smells really, really nice. So these are great for moisturizing your skin. So if you just want to use this alone in a bath to, you know, when it's dead of winter and your skin's like super dry, it'll help make your skin feel moisturized. But also if you, you want that moisturization, but you also want some fun uh, to your bath, then I would definitely like cocktail a bath truffle with something else that'll give you more color and things like that. Now I'm not saying like this could for all intents and purposes might possibly have like an embed of color in it or something but um just going off if it's just you know a plain white bath truffle then if you want some color I'd just pop in some bath dust, bath powder, or a bath bomb for that matter. And then the last thing that was in this box is called the Devilishly Deville Bubble Bath. 
Don't be an imbecile. Just pour into your running bath water and agitate the water for maximum bubbles. Use entire bottle for an especially devilish experience. So it has like the Dalmatian kind of print there on the label that is so cute. So let's take a whiff. Oh, oh my gosh, all of these scents are just so, so yummy. Again, this is filled to the tippy top. I will squirt some out onto my hand so we can see if it has a color. But the scent of this is very, very juicy. I feel like I smell possibly a grape scent or berry. I'll say, I'll go with berry, like a dark, rich berry smell. It smells so incredibly nice. And it almost kind of sounds like I'm catching a cold, which is not good. So let's squirt some out onto my hand so I can see if, oh yes, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So it is red, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. It almost looks like blood there. And yeah, that goes great with the scent too, the color and the scent, because I think it definitely has a yummy, absolutely yummy berry scent to it. It smells so good. So that is everything that was in this Disney Villains box from Bath Sorbet. So like I said, I will leave links down below if you guys want to check it out. And if you're curious to see, like say how their bath bombs have performed for me in the past with products that I have used of theirs, you can check them out here on my channel. Just type in Expert Bath Sorbet and they will pop right on up for you. So I am going to try to get a demo up of one of these bath bombs, possibly both if I have the chance, and also maybe the bath salt soak. We'll have to see how, how my time goes with everything. I have a lot of products that I want to get through um, demoed and posted up for you guys, but it's like I have a lot of lush Christmas stuff, but... Halloween isn't even here yet and I want to enjoy all of these like Halloween specific bath bombs so I hope you guys enjoyed the video you'll have to let me know if you have ever purchased anything from bath sorbet before or not I know they also have a standalone store in Oklahoma so if you live anywhere near Yukon Oklahoma definitely check out their store if you're anywhere near or close by to there. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.